All right, we got a meal combat individual or C ration chicken and noodles with a B1 unit. And um, let's check the outer box out. There's some staining. I'm thinking it's from a neighboring box out of its original case, which a case of MCIs contained 12 meals. So 12 of these boxes. Check this thing out. All right, there's that accessory packet. Got cigarettes, matches, chewing gum, toilet paper, coffee, instant cream, dry, sugar, salt. So we know this was a pre-1972, so 1971 or older MCI because they took the cigarettes out of MCIs in 1972. Okay, so got yeah, it's kind of faint, but you can see it. Chicken and noodles. And the lock code, I'm guessing 1965, but I don't know. We'll find out maybe on that B unit. Let's check out the ingredients list, if possible. Noodles, cooked chicken, chicken broth, chicken fat, dehydrated onions, salt, and pepper. Packed by Tony Downs Food Company. It's very hard to read, very faint. All right, got a B1 unit. Packed December 1964. I can tell that, a 12 and 64. I know this is 1964 because later in the later 60s, I believe 1967, um, the B units got shorter. This is a tall one. Oh gosh, something that kind of leaked. Wonderful. Ugh. Anyway, um, we'll just set that there. Something's going on here. Ah, yes. And this is the culprit. Peaches. Oh, wow. Hmm. Doesn't look like it burst, but you can see either something else in a neighboring box leaked or it le started leaking potentially at the rim here. Um, we'll find out. And that's it in the box. Yeah, looking good. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. All right, let's first start with that B1 unit. Okay, let's check this thing out. All right. Smells good. Oh, wow. Some crumbly crackers. Ah, peanut butter. Ooh, made by Kern Foods Incorporated, Los Angeles, California. Fortified. Oh my gosh, a lot of crackers. Nice can. Coconut fudge bar. Oh, it looks good. If you can, read that ingredients list. All right, so how many crackers you get? These two are broken up. That's two right there. Three, four, five, six, seven crackers. Weird off number. All right, so I wanna go for that peanut butter first. I mean, I'm hungry and this, there's a good chance it's still good. I've had peanut butter 15, well, no, I've had peanut butter 10 years older than this. So we'll see. All right, let's lift that up, see how it's looking. Looks perfectly good. Gosh, it's a messy P38, it's all greasy and peanut buttery. I'm gonna pour off the excess oil. I know you're supposed to mix it in. Oh heck, let's just mix it in. Anyway, let's see if we can even mix. Oh wow, great consistency. It looks fresher than that 1977 peanut butter. oily and all. Mm, oh yeah. That tastes like that natural, you know, more expensive peanut butter you'd buy in the store nowadays, you know, where the oil's separated and um, yeah, it costs like twice as much. That's exactly what's going on there. Let's try out a cracker real quick. 
This is so far, it seems like a very well preserved MCI. All right, perfectly fine. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. Looking good. 50 year old peanut butter. That's perfectly fresh. A little dry. Sorry for talking my mouth full. There's no spoilage at all. Perfectly preserved. It was stored properly. I can say that. I wouldn't even doubt that this thing is at least half edible. This coconut bar smells pretty good. Okay, so let's check this thing out. Pretty firm. Hey, look at that. It's perfectly preserved. It's never white like that. That's like really light colored. Amazing. This is going to be edible still. I just know it. Uh, well, don't let one break your teeth. Mmm. If you ever had an Almond Joy or Mounds, this is what that tastes like. Just a lot more firm and kind of weird. It's hard to bite down on. Hmm. I've had these where they're super spoiled. Like, you can smell it. They just smell like chemicals and rot. Hmm. Takes a while to eat. But it's wholesome. Even has a little bit of a nutty flavor to it. That coconut, solid. Man, be things fresh so far. All right, let's go for those dreadful peaches. All right, let's check this out. Oh wow, it didn't <laughs> hiss or anything. Took a while to open. Okay. Ooh. Nice sloppy peaches. Ooh, they smell sweet and metallic. That's a beautiful sight. Ooh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Look at that beautiful deal. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Kind of looks like pudding. Shiny pudding. You know, I don't. No, no way. It just smells so... Oh, I can smell it from here. It's just sweet and metallic. Huh. Nice. All right, so let's go for the, uh, the main course. Chicken and noodles. I didn't expect it to shoot juice up into my face. I literally got like a little drop in my eye. Oh boy. Anyway. So I reckon this one's no good. Doesn't smell like anything so far. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hmm. It doesn't really smell bad, which is kind of amazing. Hmm. Got some nice solidified fat. It still almost looks edible, which is amazing. I mean, actually, it totally looks edible. It doesn't look appetizing, but it looks edible. Now, because it was under pressure like that, I don't know, I don't think that is normal. All right, so let's check out this chicken and noodles. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to eat any of this because of the contents under pressure aspect. Um, gosh, if I could get some to stay on that spoon. All right, look at that, not bad. Hmm. 
much. Yeah. Pretty amazing. I mean, like, look at that chicken. Check it out. 50 years old. It doesn't look bad. Okay, well, botulism is relatively difficult to detect. It's the swelling of a can. That thing was under pressure. It shot juice out of my eye. With that being said, I'm not going to eat that. But let's go along to the accessory packet and check that out. All right, so I cleared off the tray. Got my cans washed out. I mean, that's not perfect, but hey, it looks good in there. That looks okay enough for me. And here was the chicken and noodles can. After being washed out, it just, I mean, trust me, this was not edible anymore. I mean, it might have been sort of edible. The overall nutritional value greatly reduced if it didn't contain botulism, which I think it did. Check out the uh, peaches can. It's a little corrosion down the bottom. Here's a B1 unit can. Beautiful. I didn't wash that out yet. It still has remnants of cracker in it. And, of course, the spoon. So now, let's check out the uh, accessory packet. Oh. Hey, not bad. Paul Malls. I thought it was going to be Marlboro's again. Paul Mall. Famous cigarettes. A long cigarette that's long on flavor. U.S. tax exempt for use outside U.S. Cool. No surgeon general warning. Definitely a classic. These are going to be good. Mmm, that accessory packet smells like mint and I can't explain it mint and matches and it's it just smells delicious it's one of my the best smells I've ever smelled it's amazing all right so let's get everything out get that laid out over here all right let's check out those paw malls They smell sweet and mild. Definitely perfectly aged cigarettes. Oh, I can tell these are going to be some of the best ones yet. All right, let's try one of these Paw Malls. Yep. Right off the bat, it's sweet. It has a nice floral smell to it. Like, it's the way tobacco is supposed to smell. All right, first off. Here, let's show you what this is looking like. There you go. Nice palm oil, unfiltered, looking good. All right. On the dry pull, it tastes like sweet figs. I swear to you, it tastes like figs and golden raisins. Wow. All right. That's what a cigarette should taste like. Doesn't have the additives of a modern smoke. It's so much better. Mm. Ooh, yeah. It's a heavy hitter. And every time, those unfiltered cigarettes. You can't turn back the clock. But you can smoke a 50 year old cigarette. Not bad. Yeah, let's get some coffee with this. Set that smoke down real quick and do up some coffee. Good old coffee instant from back in the day. Nothing beats it. See those fine granules. We're just going to go classic with the coffee. This is how I like it anyway. Sometimes I like to throw some creamer and sugar in, but you know, I don't have to do that every time. 
coffee instant type one type two it's my favorite ration MRE coffee smooth lightly acidic goes perfect with a cigarette so there you go all right that does it so now let's check out PK Looking good. Nice. Oh yeah. Perfectly soft, perfectly preserved. Mmm. Tastes very natural. Sugar. Gum the way it's supposed to be. Alright, that was a meal combat individual. Chicken and noodles with a B1 unit. It was about a 50-50 on what was still edible. Peanut butter, crackers, cookie, the cigarettes, the coffee. All still good. What an experience. This is Steve1989 off MREinfo.com. Hope you liked the video. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll come back at you with something new. Alright. Cool. See ya.